there's already um, a script if you go into scripts and then you go into visibility and there's a this script fade where you can basically um, animate fade in fade out even with the blur and you have to select if it should be in or out but this is still um, pretty far away it's like you have to go to scripts and then visibility and then fade and then choose if it's in out and so on and so on so what we did in the first place we put uh, this kind of the same thing we put it here but as an icon so it's uh, better reachable and we also create another tool where you have the settings where you can default for your animation project you can say for example fade in should be 15 fade out should be 8 uh, frames and now you can just select anything you want and um, you can just hit fade in and as you can see it will fade in exactly on the amount of frame you selected and the same for fade out so uh, anytime you can change these default settings and um, what, what's cool here you can also select multiple folders at once or layers or whatever and use this um, use this for multiple uh, fadings fade outs um, for multiple objects so this is pretty i think this is pretty cool uh, way to um, how to work um, there's you can also use a little trick let me just go here and delete all animations um, if you go here and custom settings and you use here one and one you can use this also for kind of like um, visibility tool like here it should be start to be visible here it will, will not be visible anymore so it's kind of like a replacement for this visibility ticket or something like that but for both sides so um, this is I think pretty useful tool um, especially when you do some fade-ins fade-outs in your animations